Hello everybody, post recording John here, today commentating one of my Shen matches versus a Lee Sin top lane. A, a very rare occasion to be sure to be seen in a lawless place like the top lane. And um, yeah, it goes as expected. Lee Sin top lane is no longer a thing that should exist anymore because he, he's just weak. Look. I mean, understandably, right there, he deals a lot of damage to me, but I also deal a lot of damage to him. Because Lee Sin can definitely dish out the damage, but understandably so, he can't take take a lot of damage in return. And Shen Drag Q Drag Through just so happens to be so good that it just does the job. And as you can see there, I don't know why Lee Sin tried to go in there with his Q. He just managed to tower to just dash into tower range and now he's just gonna pay for it he's just gonna die because he, he was very aggressive and Shen Shen is not a joke in top lane like the only time that Shen becomes kind of like a joke is when we, you have really massive beefy bru uh, bruisers uh, in top lane that has a lot of that have a lot of defense a lot of HP and also a lot of damage and Lee Sin is not one of those guys <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now um, Shen can destroy Lee Sin pretty, pretty well, especially with a blade placement like that. If he actually manages to go in with that Q over there, uh, he would just gotten blown up. But this, this one, this one's special. Look at this sequence. He goes for a quick trade with his E and then manages to dash out with his W. That one impressed me by a lot because I managed to blow all of my cooldowns there just so I can mitigate some of the damage. But this time, he just repeats his same mistake over again. He, he dashes into tower range for some reason, for no reason. I don't know why. Like, he he thinks he could kill me there, but no, he can't. Although, I, admittedly, I have messed up over there. I could have just uh, E'd him under tower and just destroyed him, but... You know, I can't make perfect plays that well. Now that I'm looking at back at this. But anyway, uh, yeah. This is how Lee Sin lanes, and... Uh, I, I thought you... I think you saw there for a split second, but, uh... The CS gap between us is quite huge. Like he's at, I think he's around 9 CS right now. While well, right now I'm around 26. And as a Shen player, that doesn't happen often. Like really, it doesn't happen often. I'm telling you. This one, this little trade right here that I did, could have been a lot better if I hadn't wasted one of my empowered Qs on a minion. But uh, yeah, that's what a uh, spam clicking does to you sometimes. You just kind of click in a moment of panic. And now here we are, we have Poppy coming into top lane, uh, trying to gank this Lee Sin, and uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for the Lee Sin. Right now I'm just trying to play it cool to seem like there's no gank going on, and here, here goes Poppy, pins him to the wall, then boom, he just dies. The end. And uh, from there on, the, <laughs> the laning phase is just me pretty much just last hitting minions and also pushing minions. That, that's all that happens, because this Lee Sin, after two deaths, decides to make decides that it's just time to quit like this wasn't gonna happen and then just decides to leave the match although it the message doesn't appear there but enough of that for now here we have a little old sequence well a failed old sequence more like because uh vega just decides to shut it down and yeah <laughs> at, at this point it's just me being alone at the top lane because Leeson never makes an appearance ever again after being embarrassed by me and Poppy. Now we walk back to lane, we try to get some more CS, thinking that the game is gonna go on for long and being mistaken that the game is actually gonna be that long because trust me it's not long. We're, we're just we're just walking around uh, trying to uh, practice my league fundamentals and trying to make sense of what to do when your lane opponent just does not want to lane anymore and to me I just try to you know revel in the, this moment where I get to push waves hit towers for free without being punished by any other oppressive top laners out there 